Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be talking about variables. Variables are a very important concept in any programming languages and even in JavaScript language. Variables are containers that hold some data. It grabs some memory and you give it a name and assign it some value and use it inside JavaScript code. You can also think of it a box of memory that can be used to store some value and this value can be changed in a program over the time. Let me open brackets code editor and I will create some variables. I have this simple index.html file and uh, I have linked an external JavaScript file myscript.js inside this index.html file and this is the external myscript.js file. Both of these files are located inside the exercise folder. I will start by declaring a variable. When you need to declare a variable, you need the var keyword. This var keyword is JavaScript reserved keyword. So this var keyword and then the name of the variable like my first variable. The name of the variable should describe the variable and it can be anything. When you declare a variable, its value is undefined. The undefined means the value of this variable has not yet been defined. So its value is right now undefined. Let me display this variable to the browser. I will use document dot write method and I will simply add the variable name. To display a variable, you simply add it to the right method. You don't need to add the codes around it. I will save this page and let me open this index.html file in the browser so you can see the result of this variable. I will open the index.html file. So right now the value of this variable is undefined because there is nothing inside the container of this variable. So the value of this variable is right now undefined by default undefined by default. Let me declare one another variable. I will use war keyword and then name of the variable my name. This is actually called declaration of the variable variable declaration. You can set initial value to this variable and the way to set initial value to a variable is my name and then assignment operator. This equal sign is not simple equal sign. This is an assignment operator and it will assign some value to this variable. So remember this equal sign is an assignment operator. Now I will assign some value to this variable. I will assign my name Irfan and then semicolon. Do you see I just assign a string value to this variable. The string, the strings can be written inside a single quotes or it can be written inside double quotes. Both will work but I will go with double quotes. So this way you assign some initial value to a variable and this is called variable initialization. During the initialization you don't need to write var keywords. So you just simply type the name and then equal or assignment operator and then the value for this variable. Let me display this variable to the browser. I will write uh, document dot write method and then my name variable. I will save this page and I will refresh the browser so you can see the result refresh. So this is the value of undefined. This is the first one variable we declared and this is the result of my name variable. Let me create a line break so you can see it clearly. To create a line break, 
I need to write document dot write method and then the break element of HTML5. This will just simply create an HTML line break. Let me save it again. I'll refresh the page. So now you can see the result of my name variable. So right now this variable my name has a value of Irfan. You can save any type of uh, data type like this can be numeric, this can be boolean or this can be string. So by this way you declare, you declare and initialize value for a variable. There is another way to declare and initialize a variable using a single line statement. Instead of writing these two lines, the variable declaration and the variable initialization, you can combine these two lines in a single statement. Before I move forward, let me add a line break and this will create a line break between the previous result and the result after that. I will use war keyword, the name of the variable and then assignment operator and then I am going to assign or initialize the value directly using a single line statement. So this is called declaration and initialization. at the same time let me show you or display this variable inside the browser i will use document dot document dot write document dot write and then your name variable let me save it and i will show you the result inside the browser so this is the result of single line statement and using a single line statement you can also declare a variable and you can initialize it using a single line. So it is a good practice to use the single line statement instead of writing these two lines. Let me talk about this war keyword. This war keyword is an optional in JavaScript language that means you can declare and initialize a variable without the war keyword for example my car bmw and this is called declaration and initialization without the war keyword I think it is not a good practice to not use the war keyword and I will highly encourage you to always use the war keyword. You can also declare multiple variables in a single line like war x, y and z. So by this way you can declare multiple variables using a single line statement and you can also declare and initialize multiple variables using a single line statement like x is equal to 10 then comma y is equal to 20 and z is equal to 50 so by this way you can declare multiple variables using a single line and you can also declare and initialize multiple variables using a single lines so in this case i assign numerical values so the numerical values um, don't require the quotes around it so i have not added the quotes around it let me add some comments to this statement and this is multi variables declaration and initialization let me create one another variable i will name it serial number and i will assign it some numeric or number value did you notice i didn't add the codes around it the codes are only required for string type of value i will output the serial number i will use document dot write method and I will add serial number I'll save and refresh the browser so this is the serial number let me add a line break so you can see the serial number clearly and for that I will copy this line of statement and I will paste it right after this result so you can see it clearly I'll save and I will refresh again so this is the serial number. So
so by this way you can declare and store and assign values to the variables